We found something. One of Hitler's U-boats is sitting on the seabed full of gold. What is it you want from me? I need a submarine. Mark it. I decided to shoot part of this movie on a real sub and put all the actors onto a real sub and make them experience what that's actually like. Kevin comes from a documentary background, so there is a sense of realism to the films that he makes. We always, you know, wanted it to feel real. We found this old Russian sub, which is in Rochester, just on the coast. So Kevin and I came to this submarine not knowing quite what to expect. We went to visit it and we just thought, this is amazing. This is a 1960s Russian sub just sitting there empty, sort of decaying. We thought, wow, that's a, what a place to film our, our movie. You can't be serious. Look, this wreck, this wreck's gonna sink. Shooting some of the film, if not all of it, even a couple of weeks, was absolutely imperative to give us the reality of a real submarine. There's a sense of scale and scope. With the real submarine, we really left it as it is because it's just an amazing structure with fantastic sort of detail. You, you really wouldn't want to touch that. But it's incredibly complicated and difficult to shoot on a real submarine. Finding new angles and just the physical proximity of allowing each other space to move around is really grueling. Shooting on the sub definitely gives you a little bit of that feeling of claustrophobia. They learned how difficult it is to walk past each other, how you bump your head the whole time, how uncomfortable it is, how much it smells. But if you ever get to a point where you're about ready to moan, you suddenly think, well, well this is what I signed on for. This is a submarine movie, and that's, that's what's sort of making it fantastic fun as well. We're going down.